Good morning and welcome to What AM, your daily dose of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Tyler Eugner. Now Russia continues to move deeper into Ukraine on the sixth day of fighting. Another rocket attack went off this morning in the country's second largest city after a bombing yesterday killed at least nine people, including a family of five. Troops are now said to be on the outskirts of another city and setting up checkpoints. This comes as the Pentagon says Russia still wants to capture the capital. New satellite images also confer confirm and show a military convoy closing in. President Biden is aiming to install hope for the future during tonight's State of the Un Union address. He'll try to calm fears about the Ukraine crisis and his Russian counterpart making nuclear threats. But his main focus will be on the economy amid record infl inflation and the highest gas prices in eight years. He's, he's expected to unveil a plan for lowering prices of everyday items. He, he could also declare a COVID victory as cases continue to fall. A Florida college student who made headlines striking the private jet of a, of Tesla, C, of a Tesla C, CEO is back at it, but now he set on set aside some wealthy Russians. The 19-year-old has a new Twitter showing the locations of, nine, of 39 planes and helicopters that include aircrafts registered to Russia's president. None of them can fly over the European Union or Canada due to an airspace ban. Russia also banned airlines from 36 countries. The Iowa House has, has an, an unanimous, anonymously voted to get rid of the exit exam college graduates must pass in order to get a teaching license in Iowa. Representative Tom Moore, a Republican from Griswold, was a teacher for 33 years. He's been trying to get rid of this test for six years and says the exam have no bearing on the graduates' abilities, their knowledge, or their abilities to become a quality teacher. The bill also gets rid of the optional entrance exam for teachers as well. The bill now goes to the Senate. The city of Sioux City saw a 4% 4, 4 rise in overall crime from last year. The reports were released by the police department on Monday. Now when we come back, we'll have a look at your, at your entertainment news and weather. Stay with us. You do not look ready. Yep, I guess you're right. Have you watched the news yet? No, I guess I haven't. That's why you're never ready for the day. You need your morning news. Yeah, I guess as a student, I just don't know what news is relevant to me. Just watch Wit AM Monday through Thursday for your morning news, as well as Twalk every Friday afternoon. Is that better? I think this will work. The day we've all been dreaming of is approaching, when life gets back to normal. But we're not there yet. So please, everybody, do your part. Get vaccinated against COVID-19 as soon as possible, because that's the best way to protect you. Protect them. Protect everybody. It's the best way to get Iowa back to normal. Find a COVID vaccine location near you at vaccinateiowa.gov. Welcome back. Now in entertainment news, the Walt Disney Company is pausing theatrical releases on its films in Russia. A, in a statement Monday, Disney said it made the move to, given the unprovoked invasion of Ukraine and the tragic humanitarian crisis. D Disney added it is working with, with its NGO partners to provide urgent aid and other humanitarian assistance to refugees. Now a possum in Kentucky is learning to walk again thanks to a custom wheelchair. Q Pie the possum was born with genetic defects. The one and a half year old can't survive in the wild due to its disability. And the wildlife sanctuary where Q Pie resides reached out to walk in pets who built a wheelchair just for the possum that lets him stand up and even walk around on his own. 
Well, the sanctuary said Cupie is learning how his new wheels work. He's going to he's going to be going on a lot of little adventures of his own. Now, finally, taking a look at today's weather. Today is going to be a beautiful day with mostly sunny sky and a very warm 68 degrees. A lot better than the past week, couple of weeks, I'd say. And tonight we're look tonight nothing in particular is going to be happening, but we are going to have some some partly partly cloudy skies and a some low winds and a low of 35. I'm looking forward to tonight, honestly. Sounds, not, sounds beautiful. Now, and finally tomorrow, there's going to be a small breeze for the day with a slightly warmer temperatures of 69 degrees, even though it is just going to be a little bit warmer. Not too bad, honestly. Maybe it'll even get warmer in, in the coming hours. We'll set. We'll have to see. Now, thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website or even our YouTube page if you'd like. Have a wonderful day.